okay? Now, stay where you're at, get your racket back. Get the racket down here. Why is it way up there like you're in the club, somebody? Get it back. Slow down. Carl East knows how to get a kid's attention. And hit, good. Take your time and quit jumping in there. You ain't no butter bean. Ready? Carl is in charge of the Newtown Community Center in Sarasota. He's worked there 30 years. Stretch your arm out, sister. Stretch your arm out. Stretch your arm out. Coach Carl has taught thousands of kids about sports and life. I'm a straight liner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll uh, be frank with the kid. I'll tell the kid what it is, what the bottom line is. And uh, that's what it is. I respect. Respect people. I respect, uh, expect people to respect me. His no-nonsense approach took root in a different time in America. The kids today have no struggles that much. All of it is here. All of it is right there. It's on the table for you. All you got to do is basically go pick out what you want to do. The kids of today, they didn't have to go through the process of drinking the, uh, drinking the uh, white water or drinking the black water. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't have to go. They're not going through the racial discrimination that, that I went through during the time that I was coming along. Those was battles that I had to overcome, you know what I mean? And I had to be uh, uh, humble. As a young man, Carl put his heart and hopes into his talents on the field. Baseball is a beautiful game, you know what I mean? He still plays on a senior team, but during high school, Carl East came close enough to believe that dreams could come true. I play ball uh, with the uh, training, training camp of the uh, Pirates hoping to uh, make the big show, you know what I mean? Uh, you keep on trying and trying, you play hard, you know what I mean? You game tight, you quick, you know, you figure eventually you're going to uh, sign that big contract. But during that time, you know, uh, wasn't many black athletes being signed to baseball contracts that time. When that call to the majors didn't come, Carl answered the call of duty, joining the Air Force in 1966. I was playing on the base team, so wherever the base team went to play for a base commander, I was there. Oh uh, yeah, I went to Saigon to play, uh, to replay the exhibition game for the uh, <laughs> base commander in Saigon. So uh, no, I didn't, I didn't hide behind no bushes or duck no bombs. I was there strictly for the entertainment. With military service behind him and a baseball career no longer within reach, Carl found his calling rallying a community together. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. The Newtown Center is a home away from home for a lot of neighbors. Jazz vocalist Ronnie Phelps explains the emotional ties. And this was the only place that we had for years, all the way back to the 60s, that we all in the black community come to and come together as a community without being having any hassles from the police or any kind of political you know, problems or nothing like that. This is our geographical place of origin. Despite all his years in Newtown, Carl doesn't live here. He drives to Sarasota every day from St. Pete so his wife can be closer to her work. And that's why I've never moved here. But it's just like uh, if I have a residence, I claim this area as my residence. I spend more time here than I do spend at home. Nine a heart. Too much talking down there. Carl treads lightly during bingo games on Mondays and Wednesdays. Ten a club. She cheats. She cheats. Plenty of good natured ribbing. Oh, I didn't ask you to do that. Thank you. Thank you. I asked her because she don't do what they say. And genuine camaraderie. I, I'm sure everything I told you about me was good. <laughs> <laughs> Joking aside, the seniors know where they rate with Carl, especially at the free community dinners. He makes sure we seniors have a special table. We seniors get served first, and he let them know. Seniors first, then you all can come and be served. He's something else. The guy is something else. Believe me, he is. We have all kind of activities. If you name it, we, we, have, we have done it here at this, from, from our church teas to big concerts, from concerts to religious concerts. Now you go, go. Well, the basketball clinic is very, uh, it's, a, it's a good program. We take kids here from the age four up. 
Not only that's uh, teaching them basketball, we're teaching them life skills. Skills that you can go out in the world and survive with. Being respectful, stay in school, say no, okay? And not only say no, don't do it. You know what I mean? Those are the kind of things that we try to enhance in the mind. Hey, you done lost again. You done lost again. <laughs> So we need to get the youth of tomorrow to stand up and realize all you got to do is do it. You ain't got to fight for it no more. All you got to do is be successful. Mm -hmm. Brock Waters is the star quarterback at Booker High School, but he learned basketball from Coach Carl. He get a lot of people out of trouble, as in keeping them off the street, giving them a place to come where they can play basketball. We don't just play basketball here. They got the summer program, which is like a summer program year round. Go, 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 go. Girls stand there like that. Eating cornbread. Go. At 63, Carl plans to stick around go, go. long enough to see the fancy new recreation facility finally get underway. Go, go. Even after 30 years, Carl East seems in no hurry to leave. Good job, girl. It's about time. I thought you couldn't drink coffee. Ready? Go. 